those who wish to understand what is happening in my mind and in the world at this moment have to read a passage from the Phenomenology of, of Spirit by Hegel. It is um, Virtue and the Course of the World. It is in the chapter about reason in the Phenomenology of Spirit and I've just chosen a few uh, extracts, a few quotes but if you want to understand, you have to read it fully. And here's what I, I wrote, uh, what I wrote, what I chose. Uh, in the first mode of active reason, self-consciousness felt it was pure individuality, and over against this stood empty universality. Um, reason, as Hegel defines it, is the individual consciousness which becomes aware of itself being the absolute essence, being the whole of reality. And this happened to me in August 2018. And uh, I, I continue. Uh, for the virtuous consciousness, law is the essential element and individuality the one to be superseded and cancelled both in the case of its own conscious life as well as that of the course of the world. Uh, it remains there, however, still a personal consciousness in this individual surrender, individuality, as it is found in the world's process, is at the same time annihilated, for individuality is also a simple moment common to both. So, uh, the videos that I have published recently is myself as a singular empirical individual uh, thinking that a part of of me is what I call my transcendental self, which is um, I call God, but God is the transcendental self of everyone because everyone is one and there is only one God. But uh, I am trying, or yeah, I have tried to, to, to abolish my own individual. Um, um, existence in a in a intellectual way, but I still think of myself as an individual, uh, if you know what I mean. And Hegel explains this perfectly. So this is what he calls a, a trick of reason, uh, the list uh, der Vernunft, a tr trick of of reason. So I am being tricked by myself uh, in a way. So I, I continue. Uh, it is from virtue that the universal is now to receive its true reality by cancelling individuality, the principle of perversion. Okay, The course of the world is then victorious over what, in opposition to it, constitutes virtue. It is victorious over that which took an unreal abstraction to be the essential reality. Um, here it means that when I say that I want to to, to bring peace to the world. The world is not different from me, so the fact that there are conflicts and war within the world, and that I myself, as an individual, being conscious of being um, uh, the consciousness of the world, I, I said that I wanted to restore um, peace and, and order, but the world, which is, in a way, a part of my true self, says the opposite. And I cannot deny that I don't want that to happen because it happens and it is uh, within my, my conceptual understanding. So I am still in conflict with myself and Hegel explains this uh, very well and I continue. Um, Declamations whose only definite announcement is that the individual who professes to act for such noble ends and indulges in such fine phrases holds himself for a fine creature, a swollen enlargement which gives itself and others a mighty size of a head, but big from inflation with emptiness. So Hegel, in the Phenomenology of, of Spirit, which is a manifestation of God's mind, in, in the view that I have, explains the process of consciousness of reason itself. So what he says is that when reason 
which is the singular who is conscious of being the whole of reality, uh, thinks that it wants to act virtuously, uh, it, it does not, because the world contradicts the good intentions and the, the reality of the world. So, uh, I am not virtuous by claiming my virtue. And I, it, it is written in Hegel, and that explains uh, the content of, of some of my videos and my, um, my psychology, in a way. So, if you want to know where we are, we are at, we are in uh, uh, the chapter about reason, and uh, and strictly speaking, uh, we have not yet uh, uh, gone to to spirit because in order for spirit to come into existence, an other than the singular self who is conscious of being reason has to acknowledge that this other he's, he has to say yes I am also spirit and this is only in this process when the two become one, that spirit comes to life, strictly speaking. So here, that's where we are for now.